Wake folks, how's it all going? Welcome back to Land of Girls, folks. I tell you what, time has not been on my side this week. Every, every, every time I go to cook, it's like, oh my God, look at the time already. So, you know, I, I'd love to cook on a kettle. I really would like to. I really want to cook on that slow and sear kettle. But uh, I tell you what, I, I've got a special treat I want to cook today. And right there, a master built is the perfect for it. So I tell you what, why don't you go see what we're cooking while I get this fired up. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, there's our special treat down in Iowa last weekend. And this is a thing down there, Tiefenthaler or Tiefenthaler, I think it's Tiefenthaler. Uh, it, I think, as far as I know, you can only get these in Iowa. And uh, we got these at a Fairway grocery store down there. there it's a skinless bratwurst. You're saying skinless bratwurst, I, but I had these. Barbecue Brian over at uh, Mad Horse Barbecue, check him out. Mad Horse Barbecue made these, and man, they were good. I'm from Wisconsin, and I know brats. These are from Iowa. These are pretty damn good. The key thing here is you place on frozen. So we're gonna get these on, start smoking them, and I'll tell you what, I'm getting hungry. Smoke's rolling, folks. Uh, I've got the master built set at 225, and you can see uh, we pretty much concur. Uh, no water pan, no nothing today. Uh, cook it up, I even cut it off so I can remember how to pronounce it. Teeth and dollar. Yeah, I think that's right. And let's take a quick look at them on the grill. Now they make a whole bunch of different varieties. This is just a regular bratwurst. They make ones that have um, pineapple and cheese in it and all sorts of different stuff. Like I said, if you're ever in Iowa, folks, you need to ask somebody, hey, where's the teeth and dollar? And uh, I'm sure they'll know what you're talking about. So I'll give you a couple more look-sees as we proceed. If you're wondering what I'm burning tonight, no, I'm not burning that, but I want to. I, uh, Barbecue Brian gave me that. Uh, oh man, I can't wait to try that out. Uh, uh, I am slowly turning into a B&B &B fan. Uh, I'm just burning some Royal Oak. I've got a couple bags of just burning it up. Royal Oak with the oak in it. Uh, I don't don't mind it, but this B&B &B is, uh, I'll tell you what folks, for the master built, it's tough as the bomb. Uh, let's take a look, see. All right, folks, we're about 35 minutes into it in our uh, Tiefen Hollers uh, skinless brats from Iowa. 225 is what we're running. And we're running about 235 there on the lid. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Oh man, got some nice smoke rolling there. Give you a couple more looksies. This is gonna be good. All right, the teeth and all our skinless browers, folks. Uh, we've been an hour at 225. We're now going up to 335. Let's we'll see where we are there. And uh, take a quick look here. Oh man, don't those look beautiful? Keep on watching, folks. I got two bun, two uh, hot dog buns, freshly made that we're gonna toast and then we'll give you a look-see once they're plated up. All right, there's our bratwurst, folks. Oh, man. Secret Stadium sauce on the uh, <laughs> Tiefen Hollers from uh, Iowa. Folks, if you ever a chance to get in Iowa, check these out. These are awesome brats. Folks, I, I've cut one in the smoke ring huh, on the master belt. Let's take a little taste test. Oh, hot. Mm -mm -mm. Folks from Wisconsin, I know brats. Those are good brats from Iowa. Imagine that. Tom Horseman on YouTube, folks, <laughs> leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, appreciate you watching. Thank you.